in the hills of Kanyalu village in Karachonyo, Homa Bay County. Gideon Majiwa, a 50-year student pursuing Bachelor of Dental Science at the University of Nairobi, is helping herd these livestock as he awaits a return to normalcy. But the prospective dentist is a worried man, arguing his efforts to follow online classes from the School of Health Sciences have been futile. Of concern to him is the upcoming end semester exams that is also required to write online following a decision by the university senate on May 5th that all students in the university write the papers online. We would like to congratulate the universities also for coming up with this noble idea of online classes. But then it's an idea whose time has not yet come. Uh, basically for you to probably have a good standing of an online class or an online exam you need to at most 1GB which may cost you something like 100 shillings in a day and this is also a problem because if you calculate this cumulatively to a month it becomes almost 3,000 shillings which for a normal student right now getting this is a problem besides the challenges of streaming live lectures due to a low internet speed here Majiwa is worried that perhaps the quality of his degree preparing him to be a top-notch dentist could be as well be deteriorating like his classmates he has not been keen on details which are highly required in a cause as his dental science. Once we resume classes probably in September as the government has given a directive, then probably we can do a recap of the classes that were undertaken uh, via online uh, paraphernalia. <laughs> At the University of Nairobi Towers, Professor Kiyama Gitai, the university vice chancellor, argues internet accessibility in the country is largely spread and should any student face low internet speed, then... If you are in a place where you are having difficulties in accessing, then let us know. You as a person, you say, me, I'm Kiyama. Me, I'm Wafula. I'm here in this region of Masabit or wherever. There could be this area where somebody doesn't have internet. Then you call. You say, me, I am somewhere where. Where are you? We will try to facilitate you. If you don't have internet in this point, perhaps you need to walk two kilometers Okay, you need to walk one kilometer and you attend your class. Some of the issues of concern that have been raised are high numbers of students in some courses. Take, for instance, courses such as education and arts that attract up to or even above 300 students per lesson. Already some students claim only 40% of learners in such classes have at least participated in online classes since the launch. Could the quality of degrees going into the job market be in question? Anne Vuria, a third year law student and the current chairperson of the student body, wants the university management to do more. It's not that we are saying the few who can access should go on or shouldn't go on. We are saying that if learning is for all, equality and equity in learning, why are we disadvantaging some students who cannot access this online learning? And with the students here at the University of Nairobi continuing to raise concern in the manner the university has conducted the administration of this examination, the university management insists it will not step back a little bit in ensuring that the conclusion of those exams brings to the end this semester. Makori Citizen TV at the University of Nairobi.